1111 was this exhibition that I put together last year and uh, it happened to land on November 11th and it was on a Saturday. But really what it was was I wanted to invite my like friends, fans, family, Vatican lifers, whoever, I wanted to invite them into our creative space where we make all this music and I actually performed like an hour long exclusive set of all like new music that was coming out this year. We did this last year, obviously. It was all music coming out for next year and these people were getting to see it performance wise and hear it for the first time. And on top of it, uh, Nicolette Ryan, my girlfriend, also did like a corresponding photo exhibition with all of the music that I was performing. So it was just kind of like an exhibition of different Vatican life art and stuff like that that surrounded this new music that I'm putting out this year. So it was uh, a new thing for me to try, but something that I was like really excited about and I'm, I'm really happy I did it. Get the fuck up here, I need your help. Anybody who knows this, help me out. Been a long time. Another morning, I awake. Sell my things to stay afloat. Possessions that I'm mourning make me feel and stay with hope. Keep fucking myself over and I'm not sure how to cope. I was on a straight path and I crashed in the road. Abashed by the wonder of how I made this mess. No, I don't know God or else. Maybe I'd be blessed. They said my life's a test to see if I survive the stress or if I'll fall asleep cradled in the hand of death. Friends and a lot of the music that we were doing at 11.11 is uh, from a record that me and Ape Bizza have coming out this year and it's called Not Having a Good Day. My name is Pope and I'm not having a good day. I can't cope with the hopelessness of my broken ways. I've been broke for days. I can't hope upon a smoking break. You know, it's really just kind of like taking a satirical look at the music that I've done prior and you know, people often misunderstand what I'm doing and they take it as me doing this like dark, negative, sad music and in reality what I'm trying to do is use these dark experiences to gain something from them and, and progress in my life. Apologies, this attitude is ingrained in me. Bet too stoic, no, it ain't no way you changing me. Not heroic, just changing worlds in my range and speeds. Like you like twins, but I'm living at some range of peaks. I always try to do things a little different. You know, it's still raw American hip hop, but uh, I just like, you know, like I wanted to be in on the joke, so. So that's what we're doing, man. That comes out, uh, that actually comes out on April 20th. Comes out on 420, so light one up and listen to that. Did I make mistakes without a plan? Out of my hands, shit happens, but it still messes me up. Another thing up on my conscience with the stress be tough. Testing luck, one step further, still can't give a fuck. Always fighting, but still feeling like a sitting duck. Shiv is tough, real as fuck. Never watch him stab your back. Look over my shoulder like getting older, never slack. Like move over, weight on my shoulders, getting heavy, dog. My path dark as it brightens and all the rest be fog. Pictures hidden in my messages like all the time. Try making meaningful shit, the only thing I call rhyme. Scrub off the dirt, but mentally ooze with slime and grime. I close the curtains when my friends tell me to let it shine. But I'll be fine, my time coming with waiting. So what really prompted us wanting to document the 1111 exhibition, other than the fact that we felt that this was something new that we were doing for the first time and it's something that we had never really been a part of anybody else doing that we knew of and um, we just felt that it was important to be able to like maintain those memories. I gave my show the other night a freestyle, so I decided I'd give one to you. This feels so good and it feels so right tonight, so I'll be giving everything to you. Thank you for coming out on this night and coming, giving me all of your time. Y'all just sat here and you stayed oh so cool and just listened to me and my rhymes. I thank you for every minute that you came through and just gave my music chance. Y'all can come through and just sit back and smoke or get the fuck up here and come dance. We all in here just to have a good time and I'm thanking you all for the night. 
I hope that you feel this way that I feel, because all of us feeling all right. I fucking I don't really I don't really freestyle, but the other night some shit happened and I did. The whole meaning behind Vatican Life is about like pray to your art, you know, it's about holding your art, your music, your photography, your, you know, whatever it is that your art form is and like holding that in the highest regard and pursuing that and abiding your lifestyle to adhere to, you know, furthering your art basically. Nash, you were the exit. Nash, you were the exit.